here we are just a few days away from that World Championship. Sum up your emotions at this moment. Um, I'm really excited because it's my first ever World Championships and I think it's kind of only just sunk in how big it actually is because um, obviously I did the Europeans last year but the World Championships just feels like a whole different level and kind of the atmosphere around the, the camp is just completely different to last year so yeah it feels really important really serious and yeah because it is you've been here for a while now tell me about how camp has gone and some of the adjustments you've had to make yeah it's just so hot um i don't think anything could have prepared us for the heat um but the facilities are absolutely amazing like i feel like my standards are so high now for a world champs holding camp because they're just incredible um especially like the recovery side of everything the the ice baths the cryotherapy um, it's really good that we get that just before our, our most important competition of the year. Uh, in terms of the season then, I think yeah. around, yes. but, um, yeah, how, how's it been as a whole? Um, yeah, it's been a weird one. I had quite a few injuries throughout the winter, um, but then I've still managed to PB and make the team for um, the World Champs, so I can't really ask for much more. Um, but I ran really well at the anniversary games and then picked up a little niggle after that, so that kind of um, took a couple of weeks before trials so yeah it's just been gaining momentum again after that and um, but now I've put a good few weeks back to back um, and yeah looking forward to competing at the Worlds I think last year because it was so suc successful it's really helped me going into this year and um, just being you know I've had that really good year behind me so even though I've missed a bit of training this year it's not had too much of a negative effect. Yeah sort of mentally then when those niggles come you still expect to be putting out PBs and stuff like that, making these things, or tell me about how it, how it affects you mentally. It's been a new kind of experience for me because I've never really suffered with injuries before. So I think it, that's been the toughest side of it. Kind of how do I deal with this, and what am I supposed to do now if I can't train? What am I supposed to do? So I think that's been the toughest um, part of all, really, just getting used to. You know, now you're running quicker. This kind kind of comes hand in hand and. And I think probably I wasn't running quick enough to, before to experience um, the injuries I have this year. Um, so it is a positive thing in a way, but it's just about managing them, um, kind of managing my own expectations. But to run personal best, I'm still hitting the times that I've always hit in training. So I can't really complain at that side of things. But yeah, it's just been really difficult to kind of get my head around why this is all happening. Um, but now I feel like it's been a good learning curve to go through. Trials were so stressful because I only got into spikes eight days before um, after picking up an, in an injury so I was just praying that I, I crossed the line in the top two and um, so it was such a relief when I did cross the line um, but I quite liked having them so close to the championships especially because I have had injury struggles this year it's meant that we've got a lot of time to then um, prepare for the champs, prepare, prepare for trials, because I think if trials were where they normally are, I don't think I it would have been good for me. So it makes sense to have trials close to the championships because you don't want to be sending a team that's fit in June, but not in October when we need to be fit. So yeah, I like how British Athletics have, have done that. I think that's the right decision to, to do it. Um, but yeah, I was just really relieved when I crossed the finish line. Yeah, you're still relatively new on the scene, I guess. Yeah, I yeah. the Europeans last year, but but does the, do you still get a great buzz from, or do you get a great buzz given the fact you are, you know, one of your first major championships from just the scale of this event and, and how good the field will be out there? Yeah, definitely. I think kind of last year, if I'd not made the team, I, I would have been disappointed, but not that much because I only kind of thought about making the team maybe a month before. Whereas this year, it's a whole different ball game. I've been training for it all year. So I put a lot of expectation on myself to make the team. Um, I can't go from making teams last year and not making them this year. So yeah, I did put a lot of expectation on myself and it meant a lot more this year. So then when I did cross the line and I qualified, it just, it was a sense of relief. Just, yeah, I've, I've done it again. I backed up last year. Last year wasn't a fluke. So yeah, it was a huge sense of relief. Um, just getting back to the shape that I was in at anniversary games, I would like to be there or thereabouts. Um, I think I'm capable of that and, and if I can do that, that should put me in a good stead to make the final. Um, I think that's, it's not, it's not going to be easy, but it's not 100% out of my grasp. So yeah, that would be a successful world, world chance for me. Yeah. It's just that next step towards the Olympics. So, 
kind of just everyone says in athletics the most important thing is the Olympics and then it's the World Championships so kind of to take that next step from the Europeans it means a lot and it bodes well for the World Champ uh, the Olympics next year because kind of on a European level it is still competitive but on a world stage it's a, a completely different ball game so yeah it's great preparation for next year's Olympics and I'm really excited.